Saya dah tak pernah cium tangan Ya, yeah. welcome friends uh, from Uganda and all over the world. Um, nenda kwe sabu na mkusoko kira kwa jemuli. And uh, much as I know I'm communicating to the entire nation, in fact the entire world, I'll try every once in a while to chip in uh, with the local dialect to make sure everybody understands me clearly. <clears throat> when the struggle is over, we shall wear the victor's crown. We shall wear the victor's crown. We shall wear the victor's crown when the struggle is over. We shall wear the victor's crown in the new Uganda. Oru talo ngalu ede tuliambari ngule tuliambari ngule tuliambari ngule oru talo ngalu ede tuliambari ngule. Tuli vimba muyu kande mpya. All right, welcome friends, uh, comrades, compatriots from Uganda and all over the world. I uh, welcome you and uh, want to take this opportunity to give you my end of the year communication. While I was preparing to communicate to you, I got a uh, disturbing um, information from Uganda. I go to learn that um, another African icon, a musical freedom fighter, Yvonne Chaka Chaka, has been deported from Uganda. Um, Yvonne Chaka Chaka is one of Africa's revolutionary artists. Uh, Yvonne Chaka Chaka has performed in Uganda very many times without any problem. And uh, the last time Chaka Chaka came to Uganda, being that she's been uh, following our struggles and she's indeed a comrade because she's an artist, she gave me a hug and, uh, you know, expressed support uh, for our cause, uh, for our struggle for freedom in Uganda. And like all friends of Uganda from abroad um, who have dared to, you know, express themselves freely and express support, uh, for the forces of change have uh, indeed attracted the wrath of the state. Um, Yvonne Chaka Chaka, like many other foreigners in the past, have been deported. Although the police has uh, um, come to has come out to try and uh, give explanations for our deportation, uh, quoting uh, my migration challenges, we know that indeed uh, Yvonne Chaka Chaka and her revolutionary songs, her songs of freedom, are what the regime fears most. This explains why I, as an artist, cannot be allowed to perform in my country anymore. Um, in the ongoing show in Kuka, the organizers were put on pressure and uh, restricted from hosting me and that explains why for the first time i've not been able to perform at a kuka yomaka and uh you know many other things but i know that the people of uganda are strongly devoted to the struggle for change the struggle for the better uganda and you can see it with your own eyes the entire venue is red so that gives me uh, comfort that whether or not I'm there, the people of Uganda set themselves on this trajectory that is irreversible. Nothing and nothing will change the direction of the people of Uganda. They're resolved to liberate themselves and I'm convinced 
that they will liberate themselves. Happy New Year to you, brothers and sisters in Uganda. Um, <clears throat> the year is ending. In just a few hours, we'll be kissing goodbye to 2019 and hugging welcome 2020. Um, it has been a very challenging year. Um, on our side, we've had so many challenges um, at a personal level. I've not been able to hold a single show uh, in my country. More than 157 of our concerts uh, were cancelled. But not only me as a person, but all forces of change. Our comrades uh, in the People Power Movement have faced it rough. Um, just to mention a few uh, comrades like Zulaika was uh, um, apparently kidnapped and uh, tortured and despicable things happened to her. Um, it's in the same breath that I want to take a few seconds of silence to respect our brothers and sisters, our brothers Ziggy Wine who we lost this year, our brother Sweet Peps and fellow artist who we lost this year, and our brother Suna from South Africa who we also lost this year and many other comrades that we lost. Let's just have a brief moment of silence for them. May their, may their souls rest in eternal peace. Mukama aba umuze mirembe, inalilai wa inalilai, rajuun. Many other challenges, comrades, um, besides the regime, of course, persecuting us, uh, day and night, burning our red berries and disrupting our gatherings. We saw uh, on a national level, scandal after scandal, it is this year that we saw um, the Ruwa hospital scandal. It is this year, in fact, just a few days ago that we saw uh, Minister Edioda um like many of our uh, his comrades, uh, you know, begging President Museveni to come to his rescue to give him 850, 880, I mean, 850 million shillings of taxpayers' money. Um, we've seen massive bribery. Uh, we've seen President Museveni go to the ghetto in his always confused judgment. Um, mm -hmm trying to buy us off as if we are uh, products, you know, having failed to address our problems, having failed to even recognize us as human beings, um, looking at us, ghetto youth, as low lives, always dismissing us as hooligans. He finally bowed to our pressure. He noticed we're human beings, but again, he did not see it necessary to solve our problems. He just thought he would buy us into silence. So he came to the ghetto. Mamu lava zeno mutitimbe kwa sente. Fubio kuita mbana febe nubenyini. Wakugezako. Wakutuso mano. Kula bengiri jaso wolo tusirisa. I mean. Um, like. Malcolm X told us that. Nobody can enslave you without your permission. These people notice that they cannot you know, relate with us unless if they use a few of us. They cannot enslave us unless if they use a few of us. They cannot control us unless if they use a few of us. So, um, bagi na maso ni wapi kingayo abantu abamu mofe okusiri safe na abalala. I want to reiterate that our reason for rising was not to enrich ourselves. It was to raise the plight of our people. It was to be hard. We are here to be hard. So, I'm going to ask you 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 to ask Banafa abamu abemi time minafu baso wala obagula na ye ya galo kwe samu kisabu no namo bao bubaka Ntibana agi mulibana fe Bana abantu 
Bano nyamu febi baso bulu gula Ame miti mehmi nafu Ne wangu wade babu wa sente Temuera vina antimuliba mkufi Temuera vina antimuliba ganda bafe Muliba mama bafe Muliba nyenaze Mbeda je tuitamu na mweje tuitamu Je muitamu na feje tuitamu Mbeda je tuitamu na mweje muitamu Tuandiba de tusobolo kutunde mewe jafe Na yetu tunulida abu Wanabu na wata sobola kweyo kirira Aba tulimu So while uh, those people come to you It is important to know that they only need you for this time. Beta ka kukoisa baku ite konge dala. Amini mutundia balaba nafi wa chitata. Baka koza mutalibo naba wako zisa. So always remember that. I thought it's important for me to communicate that to you, uh, friends. Um, the same person who promised um, to get rid of poverty by 2020. The um, same person who... Uh, promised middle income by 2020 is the same person that has no answer right now so echo chitujukize tibaja tusubizanga iba tusubizanga na yu nakulu aliru tuli wa mukisa kuwa tusoguro kwete gerira ate tusoguro becho siza wetu wanga tuwe wadeyo the year has not been only bad I mean much as we uh, decry our challenges we have a lot to celebrate comrades and I want to take this opportunity to congratulate the comrades out there all over the country and beyond that have stood firm, that have offered leadership. We've registered so many victories. We've had our um, coordinators uh, announced. We have uh, had leaders from different levels. And internationally, we've gotten recognition. We've won a few awards. Um, and a few recognitions we've been able to connect with the entire world you notice that uh, the international community is supporting us strongly um, our development partners have heard our cry the international community the whole world has focused its eyes on us so the onus is on us to accomplish what we must accomplish international community tena chinene chegenda tukolera okujjako okututte kako amaso gayo okujjako kuwakanya bichamu ebiri mugena maso ebisigade tune byokolera fenga bana Uganda so about 2019 it has been a very challenging year but again it has been a relieving a revealing year it has showed us what we are capable of achieving tugene maso tutukirize betwagala okutukiriza now friends Looking at 2020, you notice that completing 2019 is not just completing a year, it is completing a decade. Since 2010. So we have completed a decade. We are starting another. Kumbio nabi ya nabi tufude nabi yomu nkumi bidi mkumi na muenda. Kumbio nabi ya nabi tuize. Kumbio nabi ya nabi tunyigiriza. Let us look at that as, you know, um, a driving force into the new year. 2020 is going to be the turning point. It is going to be a decisive year in the politics of our country, in the leadership of our country, and in the entire history of Uganda. While we've always been looking at Mission 2021, while we've always been focusing on 2021, we must know that 2021 is going to be made in 2020. What we don't prepare in 2020, we should not expect to see it in 2021. It is 2021 that plans for 2020. After all, the election is going to happen very early in 2021. So it is in uh, 2020 uh, that we are going to have the consultations. It is in 2020 that we are going to have the presidential nominations. It is in 2020 that we are going to have the campaigns. And in my opinion, it is in 2020 that we are going to have our win. So friends, it is very, very important that we put focus on 2020. The year is beginning in a few hours. So is our work. We must double or even triple or quadruple our efforts in the coming year. I want to call upon all peace-loving Ugandans, all Ugandans with good intentions, all Ugandans that have their country at heart mm -hmm. to work together, to come together 
all the leaders, religious leaders, traditional leaders, civil society leaders, um, ordinary leaders, ladies and gentlemen, let us come together and realize what we can achieve as a nation. Then go ahead and achieve it. Many countries are rejoicing. Why? Because they took their responsibility. They rose to the occasion and accomplished what they had to accomplish. It is our generation that has that historical duty. And if we don't accomplish it, it is our generation that will forever bear the shame. So I want to call upon all of you leaders, all of you friends, Buryomowali, let us work together. Let us continue to open the eyes of the Ugandans. Let us sensitize them. Bana Uganda banafe ba manye embera jetulimu, ba manye na chiche tsubolo kutukako na waje tulaga. Let us work together. Let us organize. Organize, organize, organize. Te uichotu tese tese, te chigenda kubera u. Nebu lichotu tese tese, wano mkisa okuchira wanga shitu ukiride. We must unite, friends. We cannot do this alone. No Ugandan can do this alone. All the times when Uganda has been challenged with bad leadership, with dictatorship, and even with colonialism, it has taken Ugandans coming together. This time, we are not lost to that fact. We are coming together because we must come together. We must unite, especially in this effort of freeing our nation of the Museveni dictatorship. We must unite um, on our part as leaders, we are in, you know, advanced stages of coming together. I want to reaffirm the words of Dr. Kiza Besige. I want to reaffirm the words of uh, Comrade Nobat Mao and Senior Comrade uh, General Muntu that it's important, important and indeed very necessary for us to come together. We are um, in a conversation as leaders of coming together. But again, like we've always been saying, this is not only about us as leaders. You must come together as Ugandans. When we come together, nothing is insurmountable for us. So while we continue to work together, while we can continue the discussions, while we continue the harmonization, I want this to be not, not only on our side. Keep coming together. Let us do this. Let us prepare for these elections as one force as united forces of change this we can accomplish this we must accomplish and yes this we will accomplish um before i sign out i want to thank uh, the international community for the international support it has been amazing thank you very much on behalf of the people of uganda we thank you we also want to be free like all those countries that are free. And we know that we are going to achieve that because many countries have achieved it. Africa only this year has seen the fall of uh, dictators uh, from Algeria and from Sudan. And God willing, in 2020 or 2021, we are going to see the fall of another African dictator. Finally, I want to give you every reason to have confidence and hope, friends and family in Uganda and beyond be confident, have faith, believe that this is possible. We have been told in the past that even in the face of insurmountable odds, people who love their country can change it. Let us change Uganda. Let us not only talk about it, let us be devoted and committed to it. 2020 is a decisive year. 2020 is a conclusive year. 2020 is your year. 2020 is our year. Let us go into 2020 with a belief and faith that with God on our side, with the law on our side, and with with uh, history on our side, by all means, we are going to overcome. I want to welcome you from the Straits Fall and Strenuous 2019 and welcome you to a year of fulfillment and accomplishment 2020. I want to wish you a happy new year, friends. When I'm in a bag, I'm so much more lonely. I'm so good to see you. I'm so good to see you. Thank you very much for the support. E ala manoyo, a foyo matek, a foyo be, a foyo tutuar. Mwe bare munonga, bantu banje, nitu bakunda munonga. Mwe bare, mwe bare dala. E ala ma, e ala manoyo. God bless you and God bless Uganda. People power, our power. Our power, people power.
Ulu talo ngalu wede Tuli ambali ngule Tuli ambali ngule Tuli ambali ngule When the struggle is over We shall wear the victor's crown In the new Uganda